Hey guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Merry Christmas. Today is the end of the Buyer's Guide series. It is Christmas Day. We hope you are having a blast with your family, uh, spending time with the people you love. Hopefully had a great time this morning. Now you've settled on the couch, pulled out your phone, and here we are. Shame on you for not hanging out with your family. <laughs> so this will be the last of the Buyer's Guide. We will get back to business as usual, gear reviews, fish catches, stories, all that normal stuff that we've always done. Uh, but it was an amazing run. We had a blast. We really appreciate you guys throughout the buyer's guide and all year. Uh, it's been an absolutely incredible year. I'm sure we'll do a recap here in another week or two, do new goal setting for the coming year with you, just like we do every year, but it's been fun. Why don't we take this last buyer's guide We'll jump into it, but essentially what this is, is some last minute stuff just to make your life easier when you're out on the water. You know, we're, we're on the water a lot, we travel a lot, fish a lot. There are some simple things that really make life easy. And uh, if you haven't, if you're still looking, I mean, it's Christmas, but if you're still looking or- If you got if gift got cards. That, <laughs> if you got gift cards in your stocking and you need last minute purchases, or stuff that this will be the video for you again guys thank you so much you know the, the comments i mean the list of videos that we still have to shoot from this buyer's guide just got so much bigger we just ran out of Ooh, time right uh maybe we'll kind of spread them sprinkle out throughout the year throughout anyway the year. yeah but uh, yeah guys for for last minute stuff uh pond fishermen just la la stuff that's going to make your life easier we went ahead and threw a couple things a few things together that we think will benefit you yeah um, first one I'm going to talk about is a rod glove for going on the end of your rods. They make them for spinning rods and casting rods. I never understood what on earth these were for. I used to go slamming all my rods in and out of my rod locker every day. Never even thought twice about it until Tim of all people, I hate when he's right, got on my boat Most with rod time. lockers. Yeah. <laughs> got on my boat and with rod sleeves, rod gloves, and slid a rod into the locker and it didn't go boom, 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 going in. Uh, they make all the difference. Whether you're putting rods into the boat or you're traveling with rods, it makes everything easier. It protects the tip, protects the guides, protects your vehicles. Your line. Your line, everything. And, it, and they're so cheap, it's a no brainer. We've got piles and piles and piles of them now. Um, I color coordinate them to my rods so it's easier to find things in the rod locker, but they're cheap. There's no reason you shouldn't be using them. Yeah, definitely color code them. You know, for some reason, Matt decided to get the ones that I had and now I have less and he has more. So I don't know how that happened. Yeah, but... he thought he was right. <laughs> but uh, uh, yes, those things are a lifesaver, especially if you're traveling or you're a co-angler and you're, you just want to keep all your gear together. Uh, those things are a lifesaver. And I'm going to I'm gonna kind of branch off of that a little bit and talk about this new product. Um, I've been trying, I've only tried it a few times, but it's been awesome. This is the, the new, the, it's uh, the Rod Mule by Cal Coast Fishing. And really what it does, it takes all your rod socks, you slide it in the tip, you, you tighten it down right around there and right around the handles and you sling it over your shoulder. It'll hold, you know, several rods. So as much traveling as we do, um, typically we film out of Matt's boat. So anytime that I am on the road or throwing rods together, yeah. I just throw them all in that and it carries all my stuff. So... Uh, I'm actually really impressed with with, with that right there. Uh, next one I'm gonna talk about is a proper scale. We were so pumped when Tackle Warehouse finally started carrying this scale. Salter Brecknell Electro Samson is hands down the most accurate scale that you can buy as an average angler and put in your boat. They're a certifiable scale. They are true, accurate. Uh, I, my entire life, I've been a stickler about fish weight. I, I beat my friends up about fish weight. If they catch a 9.9, .9, I make sure that, if they catch a 9.98, I a make sure they know that's not a 10. But seriously, it, it, to me, it matters. I wanna know what my fish weigh. Um, I wanna be accurate with my record keeping, and that is an accurate scale, and they are not expensive. I mean, they're not cheap, but they don't cost any more than any other good scale, and they are way, way, way more accurate. If, if you're serious, if you fish for big fish, if you want to know what your PB weighs, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, there's several tournament organizations now. I saw Bassmaster was using them, Major League Fishing. Uh, you know, Matt's the one that turned me on to them years ago. And again, like you said, they are certifiable. Even if they're not certified 
at the time of the catch. You do it after They the are so accurate that you can send it in and get it uh, certified after the fact. Uh, next thing that I want to really talk about is the Tackle Warehouse backpack. You know, I don't know exactly what this is called, but I actually bought this last Christmas. Yeah. Um, and I've had it for a year now, and I love this thing. Like I said before with, with the rod mule, you know, when I get a phone call from Matt, we're going to go head to the Delta or uh, wherever we're going. You know, this I grab this bag, I grab that, and this will fit two or three 3,700 size boxes. It's got a whole compartment right here for all of your plastics. Uh, again, I put this thing through the ringer, you know, in and out of the truck, <laughs> in and out of the boat all the time, uh, and I don't have any issues with it. It's got plier compartments. I mean, it's got all the different compartments. I'm not going to go into all of them, but if you are a shore fisherman, or you travel a lot, or you're a co-angler and you want to organize all your gear, this is a must-have. This is uh, they they knocked it out of the park with this one. This is a great great buy. Uh, last thing I want to talk about, because again, this is about making your life easy this year, is good sunglasses. And we did a video about these earlier this year. Uh, Tim and I both wear eye surrenders. They are not an expensive <coughs> glass uh, at all. They're in the world of sunglasses. They're they're bottom of the middle. They are not expensive at all. Quality-wise, they are incredible. Uh, when we talked about them, I was blown away. They sold out. Just across the board, just sold out. And then we got so much good feedback. It was incredible. Uh, I mean, we could wear anything. I own tons and tons and tons of sunglasses. But day in and day out, those are what I wear. It's what I wear when I'm guiding. I, I use two lenses. Tim uses different lenses than I do. But they're, they're not expensive. You can afford to have different lenses. Uh, but I wear grays most of the time and ambers when I'm sight fishing or coppers if I've got murk in the water. Uh, but it makes all the difference. I outsee every single person who gets on my boat when I'm looking in the water. And it does not matter what glasses they're wearing, I outsee them. So it's one of those simple things that you can do to truly up your game. Because I don't care if you're a sight fisherman or if you are a swim bait fisherman and you need to know when you've got a follower so you can twitch a glide bait. Uh, it doesn't matter if if there's something you can do to significantly improve your game where you can see, literally see deeper, see what's happening, and you're not doing it, that's silly. So it's not like it's a $400 pair of sunglasses either. They're very inexpensive. So it makes all the difference. There's no reason not to be wearing good sunglasses when you're on the water. Yeah, the cool thing about those, I think they're like 50 or 60 bucks, but they come with a lifetime warranty. They're a nylon frame, so they're super light. Um, I mean, you can lay them flat and... Um, you guys, you only have one pair of eyes, so protect them. Get yourself a good pair of polarized sunglasses. Yep. Um, the last thing I was going to talk about is this good little guy right here. This is a cool little, cool little gift. Um, I've, again, traveling. Uh, I don't even know what you call these things. What are these things called now? I don't know. Uh, a that, cup. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> insula An insulated, insulated cup. cup. You know, they're all over the market. You know, so many different brands are making them, but Tackle Warehouse has some made. Um, and, uh, keeps your coffee warm in the, in the morning. It keeps your ice water cold in the afternoon. And so that's a cool little gift, uh, cool little thing to throw in your backpack when you're traveling. And with that, we end the sales pitch. No, seriously, <laughs> it, it has been a blast doing these buyer's guides. Um, it's typically we really steer away from being brand specific and, and really harping on certain items. We just want to teach you how to fish and be a better angler. But sometimes it's critically important. And this time of year, when people are shopping anyway, it was an honor to help you choose the right equipment to spend your money in the right places so you get your best bang for the buck, get things that work, and you're not experimenting. Uh, right. But we, we are stoked to get back to our typical videos. Uh, but this has been absolutely awesome. And going forward, the, the video descriptions have worked so well, giving you links to everything. We're going to continue that trend going long beyond the buyer's guide. The video descriptions will have links to everything that we use on every video. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been phenomenal. The, the feedback, uh, the recommendations, the comments, all of it has been awesome. Um, yeah, we're not salesmen, but people want to know what we're using. And uh, it's overwhelming. You know, when you pull up a website or you go into a tackle shop, there's just like Endless. so much stuff out there. And we're not, you know, we're not perfect. We don't know everything. We never claim right. to. But the stuff that we recommend, if we you use. we use, we have confidence in. And even if it's not perfect or ideal for your lake or your fish, 
you can you can adjust accordingly. It's a starting point. It, right. You know, it's a starting point. So uh, again, guys, uh, thank you for all the recommendations. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for an awesome year. And uh, again, we hope you have a Merry Christmas. So get back to your family and enjoy them during the holidays. If you guys like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Merry Christmas.